protecting the paint, uh, making sure we're there to trap the box and uh, not let the big behind us for easy dunks and stuff like that. So, I mean, we're just still building. With with him coming back, um, it gives us another layer of, like, geniusness. You know what I'm saying? He's been playing um, in this in this group uh, for some time now, so he, he knows how it goes. So when he comes back in there, it'll be easier just to operate just because, you know, having a, a veteran dude knowing where to be. How much of that genius did you know playing against him, and how much have you learned about it now that you're with it? Oh, I mean, he's always he's always been on the scouting report playing against him. So uh, you know what Loon's going to do. Uh, he comes in, he's going to give you real solid minutes. He's going to give you rebounds. He's going to give you points. He's going to give you a uh, steal, the block shots. Like He's going to be all around player. So um, especially now, since I'm here, he's going to get to free up a little bit, even on offense, um, and get out on the wing and, and shoot shoot his three and uh, put the ball on the ground and make plays for people. So I'm, I'm excited to get him out there again. <laughs> Man, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Um, it's it's always it's tough having uh you know three subs and two of them are bigs. So um, it is what it is though. You know you make it how how how, how you make it, and uh, we're doing a really good job of, of pushing through and still building. Um, you know despite the loss of guys. Yeah, I mean, I have to figure out a way to, to get myself going. Um, and defense is obviously that, that thing that, that gets me going. And so, um, you know, I haven't had a real, you know, rhythm on offense yet. So, like, I'm just really trying to go crazy on defense. So then I stay locked in and stay engaged. Just um, when you ain't got a rhythm or, um, you know, you play in that dunker spot, you might not touch the ball or see the ball for like, you know, several possessions. So you got to be like ready to, to to get it when you get it. And um, so playing that defensive role and playing um, really hard on defense kind of gives you in that rhythm and keeps you engaged. So when you do get it, like, you know what you're going to do with it. Having Kevon on defense with you, another big giving you that much more length and that kind of experience, is that going to help maybe free you up to do a few more things on defense and that to sort of corral everybody? Uh, I hope so. Um, you know, that's the idea is, you know, when he and Draymond get back, then it's like, you know, you got really a lot of roaming opportunity to just try to get steals, block shots, just cr try to create havoc. And, um, and that's what it's leading up to, I feel like. Um, but, you know, obviously we just got to have our guys back. Ah oh, man, uh, you know he's t tremendous at what he does. He's got to figure it figured out. Um, he's got so many little tricks and stuff that he uses that you gotta really hone in on just blocking him out and canceling yourself out for the rebound. Like I, I fully come into the game like I don't care if I get one board as long as he don't get that board. Um, so it's really a, a, a team rebounding type of night when we play. Anytime you play the Thunder, it's a team rebounding night. You got you know you damn near need to put two bodies on them. Um, and then somebody else got to come get it because it's, it's almost virtually impossible to block him out and go jump with the ball because he's just going to push you until he grabs it. So it's it's fun playing against him, though, because you got to try to, like, you know, figure your little niches out to try to get him. Um, so every time every time I play that matchup, I have a good time because I, I learn so much from him. Just like, you know, one of the, one of the things that I picked up from him um, is – he knows he's not going to get the ball, so he starts boxing out like four seconds before. And like by the time you know it, you're already under the rim. Like, oh, I, I literally can't do anything right now. So I'm trying to take that and put it in my game now, too. So uh, I always learn a little bit from each time we play. Him. You sound like you're just, you're, you're, your body language, you're wriggling with excitement about the prospect hey. of facing him. Is this one of the things you look forward to facing a guy like that? Oh, absolutely. Um, he's one of the best centers in the league. So when. when you got a chance to play against a guy at that caliber. You got to bring your game because uh, everybody's watching. So uh, you got you got to. Is he a talker on the court? Are there any head games? Too? Nah, no. he's straight, just silent assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a little intimidating? Like, like say something. <laughs> I mean, it it would be if it wasn't my first time. If my first time playing against him, you would you know what I'm saying you'd be like you know what's this guy thinking? But he's a he's a good dude. So uh, you know before the game. 
he'll, he'll say what's up to you, jump, you know, at the starting line of, he'll say something up to you. So, like, you know, he's a good dude. He's just got that niche. He, you know, he gets paid to play that way, and that's, it's, it's cool to watch. Have you told him you've learned stuff from him? Nah, but I'm, I'm sure he'd be seeing this type of stuff. I'm sure it gets out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say less. Say less. Is, is that a new hairdo, by the way? New hairdo? Nah, that's just in, in between. <laughs> in, in, in intermission, man, in between. I plan on doing something today with it. Oh, yeah? That's what he said? Honestly, he said he felt like a new man. Yeah. Hey, that haircut will do it to you. These people be sliding in your DMs after you, you cut your hair. and you, Yeah, I, I, I can see it. You be feeling, you know, a different person after you get a haircut. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Yep.